most amazing approach. Tell me about it. Um, I guess about the only thing I could tell you is uh, the lack of being able to play the other way, you know, uh, playing with a curveball and all that. I just use my upper strength and my uh, grip strength and flip the ball in the reverse direction, let it slide down versus rolling down. And uh, I feel like I have a little bit more control for the ball. Just, uh, I'm an artist, so it's just playing on my uh, creative side, you know, just filling everything out and sort of desperately wanting to play well. So it just came over time, but I've only been playing for two years. Arsenal Rogue Blade. Oh boy. 8 10. He saw this three times during qualifying. Unable to convert any of them. And he gets that one! He gets that one! It seemed like he was almost going to fall over backwards, it was so high. Another tickler for Vespi. And a heavy. Much sooner than, than uh, Weber's, yeah, right? Completely different. And then Chris Warren and Randy Peterson, I think those are, theirs are pretty similar. In the way they're way playing. down the lane, yeah, no question. In practice, Randy had the best shot. Mm. By far. Trouble, Brooklyn. Oh, white no trouble. A white blower. He to stay aggressive. Gave a lot of room. Boy, that's as good a shot as he thrown tonight. Terrific shot by Vespi, who is now... A struggle all year. Looking to get back on track. So this is a huge game for either one of these two players. Vespi opens with a Brooklyn. Vespi. just kind of threw a ball down the lane and had fun just like anybody else. You know, my dad saw me get really into it and uh, I wanted to get a ball. Dad gave me like a 14 pound bowling ball. <laughs> I was like, it just turned into something that I never would have thought as far as, you know, putting revs on the ball, putting a spin motion on the ball. You know, all this stuff took years and years and years to develop. <laughs> as I could. Uh, my right leg was almost up against the ball return all day. I tried to stay as slow as I could and I went from a strong fast pitch to my weaker fast pitch. All you pitch. want, it can make it for you at high five gear. You see three different distinct styles in the mm -hmm. jerseys here. 
distinct style of the bowler, distinct style of the jersey as well. And, and what you may not know, the viewer watching here, Wisconsin's very own out of Waukesha. Absolutely. Looking for three for three in the gift certificates. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Forty miles north of Spokane, Washington. Six-year member, hoping to win his first title this afternoon. Bo, you finished fifteenth this week. Congratulations, and you bowled against this youngster. Right, Chris, and uh, it's pretty much of a high backswing, much like Amletto Monticelli. This is his first championship round, so he gets the ball way up here. That wrist is open. And he comes down, and he snaps it right on through, deep knee bend. See how far on left he's sliding on the approach, and an excellent first shot. What's Bob looking for when these guys throw the ball? Is it just the line, or is it a combination of factors? Well, he's definitely looking at how the lanes are breaking down on what ball choice that he's going to be making. Because, you know, with his rev rate, uh, and he throws the ball high rev rate, almost just blasted the pocket and almost leave a 9-10. Then I seen Scott Griner. It ended up being a 7-9, and the 9 slid forward to the 3-pin spot. And I mean, it's just, uh, we've seen some weird things. And you just mentioned on its way. Oh, very nice. Push this one off. I'm not sure we'll find that, but we'll stick it on anyway, because any... So we've got um, Ramon. I don't know, he's not on you. He's not on you. Danny Lally just came out and said he's at a shit game. his dues on the tour. He's been out here for a couple of years. He's gained experience, gained maturity. This is his first opportunity at being a winner. This pre previous high was two weeks ago. Invitational. Five-step delivery. Bramwell ex extended push away. A high back swing. Look at him open that shoulder. Look at the position that thumb has turned completely outward. He tucks it back under. Very conventional at the bottom of the swing. Good uplift and tremendous follow through as he starts with a quick double. He has Ferraro down by 10 through just two frames. Seven. 